All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. It's time for another Tiguis design. That's right. And again, I hope I'm saying that right. And speaking of saying things right, this is the CMB made knives. You can see here, very nice box, and it comes uh, with a pouch as well. This is the C -A CMB knives. Kawanagari. And again, I'm not sure if that's correct, but I think it's Kawanogari. But anyway, close enough. So it is a very slim, beautiful design. Now, some of you are already saying, ew, I don't like it. Uh, and I ask you to check uh, practicality at the door for a minute. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, this is a couple of things. It's cool. And for what materials are in it, it's affordable. Um, now, Tiguis has gone as far to call this on Instagram an art piece. Um, now, there are a bunch of different versions of this. Not, I can't find any available right now, but I'm going to link it to White Mountain because they say coming soon. Um, it is a front flipper. It has this beautiful inlay of aluminum, carbon fiber, blue anodization, this gorgeous milling chamfer. So it's a chamfer with this lined milling. Uh, and again, the transitions of that carbon fiber are perfection. The transition to the pivot is great tooled only on one side. It is a frame lock and we even got some, some cool waves uh, on the actual clip and on the lock bar relief, which is really cool. They went all in with this design. Um, again, top flipper, we'll talk about that in a minute. Liner lock, titanium, very Cool. Now, this is a Chris, a folding Chris. Now, uh, you know, a Chris is a more of a fixed blade design, and obviously this is a folder. Oh, by the way, your clip is tip-up right hand only, and you have about that much sticking out of the pocket. I did carry it. I did like it. Uh, very cool knife. I mean, it just is. Now, this style of front flipper is a little harder for me. Um, man, see? I, and the detent is good. Now, I've been able to do this. I, I probably have my finger on the lock bar. Oh, what is happening? All right, hold on, guys. I've done this 100 times, so I don't know why all of a sudden on the video. What is happening? Okay, it opens. It's not stuck. I have done this, so I don't understand what's happening right now. Okay, now I hit my hand. Okay, so I just got to give it some wrist. Now, it is a light blade. It's a thin... Most of you will do this no problem. I just suck. Um, but it's also this style of front flipper. It's just not great for me. Uh, I'm not going to open it again right now because that's not working. Now, I did in my unboxing uh, do some, some uh, cardboard tests. And you can see all you have to do is push... And this thing's going through, and that's what a Chris is for, okay? Now, I'm not saying this is a self-defense knife, and I'm not trained for that. You do have this crazy tip that just goes in there very easily, and you can get down into packages with it uh, as well, just like that. Uh, but it just goes through, okay? Not a problem whatsoever. Now, as far as shaving, um, yeah, it does okay. You can see this is thick wall cardboard, but it's also softer material. Um, it does grab a little bit. You can see that. It just did it there. Um, man, it's just hard to get this big piece of cardboard in here. But it does, if you, if you slice, it does cut through. Uh, it's just, you know, it's not a practical cutter in my opinion now I did cut and it did pierce uh, but it's just not super practical for EDC use how about that now again you, you saw I mean I'll just open it like that now I guess hold on I gotta do this okay yeah see I mean I've been doing it now there's nowhere to really put your thumb up here it's not sharpened uh, but it doesn't feel great so you kind of got to just do it like this and again uh, you know, thrusting motion, that would work. Uh, Kevin's favorite slurpy pose, that would be all right. Uh, like this, like that, whatever, I don't know. I'm not your guy. Now, you do have, uh, you do not have 
uh, a lock bar chamfer. Uh, you do have chamfering in the middle, uh, but you still have to dig a little bit, but it's not bad. And the clothes on this, because it's such a thin blade, is a shaker, not a dropper. And that's just the way it is on this one. Uh, your jimping is good on that flipper tab. It's just the shape. But I'm actually thankful for the shape because it's not going to come up and get me like some front flippers do because of the shape. Um, not as badly, at least. Nice chamfer there. Lockup is about 25 or so. Um, dead centered. And, uh, hey, see, I'm doing it fine now. Lockup is great. No lock rock, no blade play. You do have a cool fuller. You have like a gray uh, bead blasted finish on the blade itself. Now, I'll tell you what, we'll talk. Now, I talked about the price a little bit. Man, I, I keep kicking the tripod, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's $199. Let's just get that out there. Um, if you can find one of these available, it's not bad for the materials. Uh, again, it's up to you if you're interested in it. Um, but $199 is not bad. And again, you can go on White Mountain Knives and do the notification where they'll notify you when it's back in stock. S35VN for the blade. Uh, overall is 7.08. Blade length is 3.14. 0.118 for the blade thickness. So very nice there. Uh, again, because the grind is so um, not tall, in other words, very sh um, short there. Thank you. If I can get the word out of my mouth, it's not super thin at behind the edge, but it'll cut. Uh, 58 to 62 on the hardness. Titanium clip. Uh, titanium hardware. Pocket clip is, by the way, good retention. Don't really feel it in the grip. Good in and out of the pocket, and it wasn't pokey like I was worried about. <clears throat> this is uh, 2.57 ounces, so that is good for the size, and it is titanium. And again, just $200. Now let's do our fun size comparisons here. The Rat 1 is going to be huge compared to this thing, as you can see. And the Rat 2 might be a little smaller. It's about the same size, actually. Um, again, shapes are different, but you get it. Uh, very, very cool. Now, this comes by way of the Lefty Pass Around group, so I'll be passing this along to Corey Stafford, who's next in the group. Uh, Corey's a cool dude. If you don't follow his channel, definitely do, and you can get his thoughts on this. But it's, you know, it's really cool. I think there's... Two types of cool. There's like useful cool, and then there's just cool. And this is just cool. Now, would it, would it be cool to have this in your pocket, pull it out, uh, show your friends? Yeah. Is it practical? Probably not, unless somebody wants to put a comment down below and tell me the practical use you would have for it. Uh, but even Tiguas talked about it on his Instagram as an art piece. And I think it's a collection piece, an art piece, and it's fantastic. So well done. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much. Do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.